it's interesting that in the Eastern tradition, uh, it, it is thought that every night we go into various levels of sleep, going in from a dreaming sleep to a deeper sleep where all dreaming stops and we return to the self we were before we were. And that sense of when you remove all the levels and peel off all the identifications and the, the things that we see instead of what always is, then we can experience every night this return to oneness. And the, the, the problem with knowing about it is that people recall very poorly from that state. So, so it may happen every night, but people don't know about it because they don't remember what goes on there. Uh, there are some ideas suggesting that uh, if you develop a, uh, a more careful knowledge of the dream state and the sleep state that one can become conscious throughout all the stages of sleep so that one can experience the fall into deep sleep. Personally, I've had a few experiences where I, I start out recognizing I must be asleep because there's nothing. There's no body, there's no dream, there's no sense, I, I remember I had a body, but it's gone. And so I'm left with this pure nothingness somehow. And these are thoughts after the fact in describing it, but it was something like just experiencing that there's, an, there's a pure nothingness that can be experienced directly. And of course, this same idea is common in the East. But I think we can learn by cultivating awareness as we fall asleep, especially going directly into dreaming or REM sleep, we can learn to become more aware of the transitions from waking to sleep and via dreaming. And that in the East, this is thought to be a parallel to the same process that occurs at death. Clearly at death, the brain, uh, if it's brain death, the brain stops operating and so those parts of our experience of reality must stop. But what we don't know is what happens next. And it may be that you take away the brain and of course lots of things will change, but that clearly will leave us with what we had before we were who we thought we were. So it, it's brain science and the modern cognitive psychology, uh, psychedelics, many different areas show us that the brain is in very important in producing the individual consciousness, those you know, parts of consciousness, for example, that make Stephen Stephen. But there's also perhaps a deeper level that is not mind and not hardware and not software, but is instead the aware, the basic awareness that cannot be said, the unity, is always there and, and causes all of these states to be what they are.